Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I tie my ropes onto my rope halters. I use rope halters and I use nylon halters, but personally I will always vote rope halters to be best, especially for training and working with green horses. Rope halters are just your ideal source of equipment if you're going to be working with horses who don't really know what they're doing. So. Here I have a regular nylon halter. This is what most people use, English and Western. But um, these halters are great for a nice broke horse who's been there, done that. That's what I use them for, for my two horses. But for green horses, these really aren't the best. They really don't have the same pressure points as a rope halter does. Plus on these halters, every metal piece is a weak point on a halter. Everywhere that has been stitched is a weak point for a halter. And these, I've seen so many of these break. I have ones that have broken. Um, they have these dumb breakaway halters now these days, of course, that break all the time. My friend has one that she has to get repaired because they break all the time. And this also is a weak point. I actually had a, a friend, I have a friend that, um, we worked at a ranch together and a horse freaked out and I'm not even making this story up like I'm dead serious right now one of the horses freaked out and I don't even remember why but she freaked out started ripping and pulling back on her lead rope and this little metal clasp right here broke off the lead rope and I kid you not flew through the air and hit her finger just right snapped her whole finger in half I'm, I'm literally not even joking when I'm making that story but Anywhere that has metal is basically a weak point on a halter. That's why I love rope halters. They don't break. And if you have your rope attached without a metal piece, it's not going to break either. If you watch my recent vlog about BB's little spaz attack she had getting out of the trailer, my halter did not break. And I actually saved myself from having to go buy a new halter. And I saved BB from learning a lesson that if you freak out that your halter will break and you'll get away. So... These are okay for broke horses, but for green horses, I really wouldn't recommend using these. So here I have one of my rope halters, and you can see this is where you put the lead rope on, and it's completely tied on there. It There's no chance this is going to break. This is the one BB actually freaked out in, and it didn't break whatsoever. Um, so yeah, pretty efficient way to tie these. So I have a lead rope over here, and you can see this rope just has a clip on it and you can do this if that's what you like but personally I don't want to risk this breaking and it's really not that efficient because this rope halter doesn't weigh very much right so these heavy snaps I've noticed they flop around dangle when my horse hits um, my horse shakes his head these will hit him in the face or in the chin and it's just really annoying to have this heavy clasp on here so I don't typically like to use that method so I have my rope that we're going to put on this particular halter. I'll grab my end and really this is just so we don't have anything that will ever break on us. So when you have your little loop here, I like to spread it apart. I like to go through the loop. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Through the loop like this. So just like that. Then you take the rope go around the loop okay let me see if I can do this a little better all right so this is really the best way I could show you because my stupid phone won't focus and that's what I'm using to film today so you're gonna take your rope and then you have the little loops here that you clip the lead rope onto and how I do it I just go up through the loop like so just go right through it then you take your rope and go around both of the the loops right around the back and then you go back down through and that's how I attach my lead ropes to the rope halter and this way it's going to be way less likely to break on you um, it's also not technically tied onto the rope so you're gonna have less likelihood of having to ever cut it off it might be it might get really tight over time but you won't have to cut it you can just pry the two apart so that is how I tie mine on just so I don't have to use a metal clasp on there and it's way more efficient so 
All right, so all in all, my vote is go for rope halters if you have a green horse or if you're working with someone else's horses that you don't know. I have personally had this halter for a really, really long time, like probably five or six years. This halter has held up very, very nicely. I've worked with a lot of horses in these and um, I broke out my horses in these halters and yeah, they work really, really well. I honestly like the ones that have the four knots on the nose band a lot better. These create a little more of a pressure point than a rope halter like this that just has the two on the sides. And nylon halters really don't have either of those. Not that you should rely on pressure points, but they are um, just a lot nicer in my opinion. I don't know. But that's how I train horses. So go for rope halters, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.